were shocked at the strange preservation doctors discovered in 1997. Cairo, Egypt. Suffering from an unusual ailment, 16-year-old Hisham Ragab is admitted to Al Mardash Hospital. A few months ago when I was at work, I leaned over to pick up an iron bar and I felt a pain in my side, so I came to have it checked out. The patient presented with um, an abdominal complaint mainly. Um, he, he has uh, abdominal discomfort, abdominal pain, especially of the right hypochondrium. He has a dull aching pain. Tests revealed a large swollen sac pressing against his kidney. Doctors feared a life-threatening tumor. Doctors told me that they must operate. A medical team led by surgeon Fatima Nous was assembled for what they thought would be a procedure to remove a tumor. But only minutes into the surgery, the operation took a shocking twist. What first appeared as a misshapen mass began to reveal grotesquely familiar details. Five fingers emerged from a partially formed hand. There was a tuft of coarse black hair and even teeth. This was not a tumor at all. It was his Shamra Gab's undiscovered twin. I have never seen a case like that to have a fully developed fetus in some parts and rudimentary in other parts with different ages of arrest of growth. Like an entombed mummy, for 16 years the unborn twin lay hidden inside its brother. Doctors could only speculate on the cause of this bizarre anomaly. It is known that identical twins are formed when a single ovum splits into two groups of cells. When two separate ova are fertilized before implantation in the uterus, the result is fraternal twins. That's fairly common. But if even the slightest thing goes wrong, such as a single cell out of place, the results can be disturbing. Isham Ragab had a parasitic twin, a separate entity taking sustenance from Hisham's body. Parts of Hisham's twin had stopped forming at about five months old. It had a skull with upper and lower jaws, which contained a tongue. The one arm had a hand with five fingers and fingernails. The other arm was a stub in its earliest stages of development. Weighing four pounds and 12 inches long, it was astounding just how much of the fetus had survived. But what shocked doctors most? 10 fully formed teeth. Signs that the fetus had actually been alive for a period of time, nourishing itself by feeding off its twin brother's blood. Surprisingly, we found that he has a, a well-developed fetus of a boy of about 10 to 12 years of age. So he has some parts which stopped growing by the age of five or six months into uterine life. He has his teeth growing to the age of 12 years. Actually, they were a twin, and one of them incorporated in, inside the other one, and one of them grows normally, the other one stopped to grow. Having survived for 16 years undetected, this parasitic twin has earned the Guinness record as the longest a twin has remained undiscovered inside a human body. Hisham Ragab fully recovered and returned to his simple way of life outside Cairo, with this scar as the only evidence of the ordeal he's lived through. But he and his twin will forever hold a unique place in the Guinness Book of World Records and a fascinating footnote in the history of a culture which takes great pride in preserving and honoring its dead. What a story. That close.